hello and welcome we left off here where we upload the image and all the image will be stored here if the user is going to change his picture we cannot de delete any uh, of their picture here so in this video i'm going to delete any of the picture that the user uh, update and we will delete the old one so far we are going to store their name this name is stored in database if i come here and here is the john which is the last one it does not have yeah by default the photo is equal to profile.png so if i refresh it since we changed that in the last video oops it should have to change it here still loading yeah finished if i come here this is the john and this is the new user profile.png here so of course in the next video i will show you how you display it here but now let's delete the old one this is by three and this is the third one so what i'm going to do is i'm going to delete everything from here first we have deleted we don't have any profile here nothing everything is just fine so i'll refresh from here and i will upload another image to see that yeah we have one image and we can delete that in this when we change that so i'll select an image now let's pick uh, this guy here and we just press update and yeah it was successful plus we can display a notification here so far we didn't do that so if i come here yeah we have the guy here so this time what i'm going to do is if i'm going to select a girl from here this this girl and i do select now and if i press update it should delete this boy here and it should be conditionally deleted by if they have changed their pass their image it should change otherwise it should not do anything so if in if i come to the controller we know if you have the current if they they have the past the the picture here you know the request has the photo and that photo is not equal to the current photo name which means the current photo is the photo we have in the user profile how what is this condition is going to do this condition is going to check if the name of the photo they are going to upload is not the same as we have in our database if it is not like like that then you should upload if it is the same you don't need to upload because we already have that so that's why this condition is for that so we should write another condition so how would you write the condition if i come here if you think a little bit about this one you will find out that we have the old photo in our we have this one and we have the name also so what i can do is i can just compare it and say if the user has changed their profile which is not the current one this is going to upload otherwise it is not going to upload so inside this condition we know that user has changed their profile this is fine if they have changed so what we can do is we can go in, uh, go inside and we can delete the the old one so after all done we can delete the old one how you can find the old one so here is how you can find it first of all uh, i will write a variable of uh, let's say photo name how can i save photo name from database current photo is the one we want so current photo is the same name as we have in database which is the same name as our picture so what we can do is we can delete this one so we have the variable here the current photo and what we can do is we can use the unlink to delete that one so first of all here is our image what i'm going to do is i'm going to take the full directory of this image so that i can delete that using unlink so yeah here you can do that i have a variable called user photo it is going to public path and it's going to the image profile and plus it will concatenate that and put the use the photo name here it is going to this folder and it will take the photo and store that in the user photo now what i can do is i can delete this one so how i can delete this one i can come here and say at unlink inside the unlink i can just write the variable that we have created now for the condition i will write the condition now so properly so that we can say that how we are going to write it it is going to be user photo we just pass this variable here to the unlink and it will delete this photo from this directory so when it is going to delete, delete that we should write a condition here it should not always delete the photo it should delete it 
when we see the user has changed their profile so in the condition uh, all i need to write it file exists i will use, use the function file exist i am not sure about the spelling i think it is exist here is the wrong one exist yeah file exists is a function it is going to check if the file with that we are going to delete exists here so which file this file if this one exists in the, the directory then what you can do is you can delete that i'll save it for now it is saved here and let's uh, do that one i think we did not change anything in the view side so we do need to refresh our page so i'm going to pick uh, another picture this time this girl here and i'll press update pending it should be successful let's see it send everything is still it's yeah 200 successful now if i come here you know the picture of the guy it is gone the new one is replaced and now we have a new picture here so if i upload another picture let me just test it that if it is working just fine let's pick uh, this one this girl okay let, let's pick this guy here to see that their gender yeah they can change it if i click yeah 200 successful yeah it had deleted the other one and it has replaced that with the new one so what if we don't update our profile picture if i refresh the page let's say we have not picked anything so let's see what this is going to do uh, all we need is we can change our name johan and we can click update pending yeah 200 if i come here yeah still we have the old image and everything is just fine so i hope it has been informative for you if you have any question feel free to ask below the video i have i think time to record some more videos so i will upload them as soon as possible so thank you for watching and see you in the next video